Hey everybody, Dylan Distraction here, coming to you live from Batlantic Studios. So I'll do a quick back to the drawing board, talk about comic book show. It's on my drawing table versus Hell Road Redemption. Uh, I did these digital rough pencils, and then I felt like going back over it with tighter pencils. Uh, but if you want to see what the digital rough pencils look like, we have a raw versus issue one available right now. BatlanticStore.com. Grab your copy. It goes out free with every purchase. So I'll get anything and I'll send you one of these Versus Hell Road Redemption books <clears throat> showing my main character Versus and what happens to him in this new book, Hell Road Redemption, I'm working on now. I want it to be three issues, but uh, as you can tell, I'm just kind of noodling away at the first one. So I did these digital pencils and they look great, but I was like, I kind of want to just rework them a little bit and why don't I do it? traditionally just see how it looks see if i like the look of it better or different i don't know if i'm even going to go back over and ink it again i don't know just having fun with it so you can all follow along the journey of me working on it so we were talking a little bit in my previous video and if you haven't watched that previous video check it out uh i was talking about greg capullo's pencils and i was like man i didn't show any examples of greg capullo's pencils and why i love it so much so this is the batman unwrapped court of owls and it's a beautiful, beautiful representation for Greg Capullo's work. And just how loose he gets, right? Just showing just this the beautiful line work, giving the inker enough information. But look at that chain. Like, that chain is... You, you've got to know how to draw a chain. Like, he's not giving you enough to know how to draw a chain unless you just know. And so Glapion and Capullo working together was just such a beautiful pairing they were just able to create such phenomenal work together and unfortunately they are not currently working together on creech the new creator own project but i love this like how he doesn't render these buildings like you know that's just going to be all light effect right it's just letting that be like light effect definitely playing with shadows having this leg pop out of the shadow here you know putting in the black areas with graphite looks like a really toothy paper but I don't know, maybe not. Maybe it's just how it's reproduced. Right, like this. Ah, oh, I love this stuff. And I try to have some of that energy and, and, and action and motion and movement in mind. But you can tell here, he's just wrapping that form. Really here, these bricks. He's like, oh, you gotta know how to draw bricks. And this is a beautiful, seeing all this debris. I guess it would take forever to, pen, to ink all that. And here he is inking himself. So this is Capullo inking his cover himself. And you can see when he inks himself, traditionally, he's able to create these really sharp cuts, right? This beautiful rendering out of this shadow here. Just phenomenal sensitivity and line work and subtlety and some grit over here in this inking. And knows, you know, how to really have that negative space pop, having this really, really beautiful cover. And I think this was actually just recently sold. So I love this feathering out of this. These little cuts here, cut, cut, cut. A little splatter effect. Maybe put in, stippling that in a little bit. A little cross hatching, rendering down the leg. A little cross hatching here out of this shadow. Cross hatching down here. Just beautiful, such such beautiful work. And Glapion was really able to emulate that really well. And on the new Creech stuff, Coppola is working digitally, and it has a different feel, which I'm I'm not as excited or in, I don't know. It just feels different. It doesn't feel as precise. It's gonna you know obviously it'll depend on how the finished product looks, and it's not you know I'm sure it'll be incredible. You know I'm, I'm sure he'll do a wonderful job, but. Man, you look at this, and I have this book, too, which I think everybody should grab a copy of. Coloring DC, Batman, Court of Owls, adult coloring book. Don't let the cover fool you. Uh, it's, it's, this is an awesome book that shows Glapion's inks without, and Capullo inks, on this beautiful paper, without dialogue. So you can really see how just these two panels, I mean, these, the, the AB of Glapion's phenomenal rendering and beautiful cuts, sharp, sharp inks. Like, he looks like he's inking this with a 
friggin' laser, or a razor blazer. It's just mind-boggling how he's able to really interpret Capolo's pencils and just punch them up. And the line width and variety and weight. Look here on Two Faces' face, right? All those little cuts, dropping in white splatter, dropping in black, knowing when to. And so, this is a great example here. So, see this rendering here out of the shoulder? I need a third hand. See this rendering here out of the shoulder? How Greg Capullo shows it. He knows which way the form's wrapping, but he's, co he's throwing pencil lines pretty quick. Glapion just knows how to wrap that form. He's like, yep, that's the form. Boop, 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 boop. Just throwing those cuts. And man, that is a lost art. There are fewer and fewer people traditionally inking that caliber. So you have top, top tier pencils with top tier inks and you get Batman Court of Owls, right? And I'm so... Um, not, you know, maybe just disappointed. I'm disappointed that Glapion and Capullo aren't working together. You know, because average inks over phenomenal pencils look average. Phenomenal inks over phenomenal pencils look phenomenal. So, I would hate for any of the penciling that, that Capullo is doing, because his pencils are just so good. I'd hate for them to be just kind of washed out by inks that are okay, you know? And it's none of my business, obviously. People have deadlines. He's happy with it, then great. Everybody should be happy with what they're producing. Again, just talking about it because I love talking about comic books. I I don't have a dog in fight. I, I'm gonna buy it either way. Any, everybody can do whatever they want. And, and, and who am I to be? You know, I'm just happy that they're, that Capullo's producing work at all. You know, especially in this day and age when it's like, you know, things can just not go to print. <laughs> Where I've seen, you hear people say like, oh yeah, I did it and no one, and the publisher never printed it. <laughs> it's like, oh, yikes. Uh, I've heard that story a couple of times. Where it's like, yeah, did it, handed it in, never came out. And they're like, oh, so the fact that anything gets produced at all is a, is a miracle. And if you got to hit deadlines and you got to put it out the door, do it. But man, that, that, Court of Owls, Glapion Capullo, that is, that is hard. If you, when you raise the bar that high, you got to be careful because that's a bar that's got to, that's, that's where the bar is. Sorry, you did it to yourself, you know. You didn't have to put the bar up there. You could have had a lower bar. People would have been like, yep, that's where it is. But you put it up there, people are going to be like, what happened? That's where the bar was. You can't now not get to that bar. Uh, you did it to yourself. And it's, you know, it's like my sister. She used to wash the dishes and she'd leave soap in the coffee cups. <laughs> that's a funny story. So you'd be like, did Paige wash the dishes? And you'd be like, yeah, and we got to go rinse out your coffee cup. Because you knew she'd leave soap in it. Why? She wouldn't have to do the dishes no more. She said, she's like, I'm not setting that bar too high. If I set that bar, if they if they get coffee cups without soap, they're gonna expect me to do dishes all the time. I'm setting that bar low. Soap in the coffee cups. But I guess coffee tastes like soap. They got a page to do dishes. But ah, let, let's not have her do that anymore. Didn't have to do dishes no more. She's a genius. Her sister's a genius. Love her to death. Smartest person I know. So yeah, don't raise that bar too high, because then people like me are going to go, man, remember when you were working on Court of Owls? And it was like, inspired an entire generation of artists. Remember that? <laughs> yeah, that's where the bar is now. So, I'll just show that examples, because I love that stuff. It makes me inspired. And this new Creech book, I'm sure is going to be awesome. I'm psyched for it. And... I'm hoping that, you know, maybe the stuff I saw was just kind of zoomed in or, or wasn't the final version. And the colors will change it, and, and it's going to look awesome, I'm sure. But, man, it's tough on that. That's the bar you set. Everything's going to be compared to that. 
That's a good problem to have, though, right? Good problem to have. <clears throat> Be like, it's not... Then that's the thing, is everybody always says... I heard Jerry Seinfeld once say, there's only two things people say about your work. They either say, heard it before, or not as good as your last one. Right? And heard it before means, yeah, it was a hit, and I'm doing it again. <laughs> it's like... Heard it before would be like Court of Owls Part Two, like, and people would be like, "I oh, know I heard it before." I'd be like, "Yeah, because it's awesome." So that's why you heard it before, and you're hearing it again because it's awesome. And not as good as your last stuff is it's like you tried something new, right? You tried to push in a different direction, and people were like, "I don't know, the other stuff is better or not as good as what you did before." This new stuff is, eh. and it's like, yeah, because I tried to do something new. Get off my back. So, I definitely think comic art falls under either of those two, similar to stand-up comedy. It's like, heard it before. It's like, yeah, because it was awesome, we're doing it again. Or, not as good as your last, last stuff. It's like, yeah, because the last stuff, I'm trying something different. Get off my back. Person on the internet thinks they know how to do it. You think you can do it better? Do it better yourself. That would be what anybody should say about any, any opinions I have. Right? If anybody ever sees any of my opinions the only valid response to any of my opinions which are just my opinions would be you think you do so good do, do it better show me i get that and i've done that i've said that people have been like i don't know i'd be like do it better show me you can do this better do it i don't i'm not i'm not stopping you let's see it show me what you mean show me how it should be better Show me what you, what, what's, where, where is it lacking? I'd love to see you throw an example out there into the universe. And that's what Capullo, I'm sure, should say to anybody that's like, I don't know, Court of Owls, that was better. He'd be like, you think you can do this? Do it. I'm not stopping you. Let's see what you got. And so that's why I did, actually, funny you say that. I decided to try to ink some of Greg's pencils for fun because i am such a couple of fan and a glapion fan i'm like man what if i is there a brush i have in my procreate set that cuts like that that has that real sharp cuts could i emulate could i get close could i approximate not even sniff what glapion did over capullo's pencils that are top five pencils of all time he's on my mount rushmore <laughs> Capullo's up there. Dave Finch is up there. Paul Pelletier is up there. Andy Kubert is up there. Mark Silvestri, although he inks, pencils inks himself. Those guys, you know, top, top pencilers. I mean, if you're talking straight pencilers, Paul Pelletier, Andy Kubert, Greg Capullo, Paul Pelletier, Andy, Dave Finch, those are my top four. Penciler, straight pencils. And then there's a... I have another whole list of guys that pencil landing as another whole subgenre category. But I was like, man, could I throw lines that approximate what Glapion was doing? Is it even possible? And no, Glapion's looks like he's inking with a razor blade. It's just that. It's just sharp, sharp, sharp. And just beautiful. Like, if you look at how he renders out of stuff, like, just cuts, 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 cuts. All pristine. Richard Friend's another anchor that does that. Sandra Hope is another anchor that does that. I'd say Norm Rapmon's right up there. I'd say Bat is right up there. Matt Banning. But hard to be an anchor because you got to really latch on to a penciler that, you know, needs you, likes you, works with you. So there's fewer and fewer just straight anchors left. Just because it's not really a thing. Like, there's, I don't know, less pencil. I mean, most people are penciling and inking themselves. Because you have to. Because of, I don't know, because of reasons. So, I tried in Procreate to emulate that look that they that that magic they produced and I was like I drew it three or four times 
and it was a panel. And it was just a slight panel in, a, in one of those Creech pencil pages. It was low res. I have it on my Instagram. Feel free to check it out. And I really tried to, I don't know, give it that, that energy that I've seen with Capullo's pencils and that I've seen Galapion be able to pull out. And man, it's hard. Like I did version after version after version and I don't know if I even got close. You know, I think I, some parts of it I got where I was hoping to get. Some parts just fell flat. And to be able to consistently do an entire comic like that would just be so time consuming. Because it's, just, you know, Capullo's just going a hundred miles an hour. All of his, all of his panels are beautiful. All of his pages are beautiful, and you have to have so much attention to detail and patience to even get remotely close to what he is producing on the page. Because you get lazy for a minute, and it shows. You know, if you just kind of drift a little bit, if you start losing focus. Man, it shows. Shows. So I would say that, uh, man, I hope they're able to keep that team together and, and able to produce some work again in the future together. Or he's able to find another anchor, pull somebody off the bench. Not me. I'm, you know, I don't. I don't think I'd qualify. Obviously, thinking would be thinking's just a beast. But somebody, there must be somebody out there that can throw lines that would just, you know, get close to where, where that would need to be. They must exist. There must be people out there. Call up Richard Friend. Maybe Richard Friend come out of retirement. Sandra Hope. Somebody off the, somebody out of the, the internet. There's inkers out there. There must be. So we'll see, we'll see. And honestly, it's just fun to talk about because I love talking about comic books, but whatever it ends up being or however it comes together, I'll, I'm sure it'll be beautiful. You know, the colors will be beautiful. Those tiny little imperfections that I might catch on to or somebody else might notice, in the overall scheme of things, it'll look It'll be a two seconds. That's the thing about the comic book pages. People are seeing it for a couple of seconds and they move on to the next thing. Ninjas. Going with my Frank Miller-esque Wolverine. Ninjas. Ninjas. Ninja. That's a ninja. Cool. So, DylanDistraction.com, that's my YouTube channel. Make comics cool, that's my Patreon. Dylan Andrews Art, if you want to see more of my work. Batlantic Store, if you want to buy any of my comic books. Um, and if you get a comic book, you get anything. Merch, anything. Throw in one of these verses, Hell Road Redemption, raw. Rough pencil editions. Those get sent out with everything. So, thank you so much for your continued support. I really appreciate it. I hope you're out reading comics, making comics, living living your best life. Thanks so much. Okay, bye.